Hi, welcome back to SolidWorks Tutorials. This is the first time I'm gonna reveal my face. I wanted to wait until 3 million subs, but I thought that would be way too late and I would never reach that. So, here it is. Alright, so in this video we're gonna cover a very simple technique. Actually, from now on, I'm gonna release a series of videos on a regular basis covering only simple techniques in SOLIDWORKS, in case you were wondering. This video, I'm gonna start from the very scratch. So when you open the SOLIDWORKS and you go to create a new part, usually you have to start off by drawing a 2D sketch. It doesn't have to be that way, but sometimes. And therefore, I thought I will start with line. Just, it might take a couple of seconds, but I think I will take it from here, all right? Okay, so beginners, pay attention. This is for you, okay? I know this. So you wanna learn it, you pay attention. This is easy, but nevertheless, you need it, so. All right. Okay, so I said we wanna cover line, right? And line needs a plane. So choose any of these three. You have front, top, right. Let's just pick front, okay? Click on the sketch. When you click on the front, once there is a pop-up, see that? or any of them, pop up, sketch, or you can go here and click on sketch, doesn't matter. Now on the top plane, okay? So, if you click L on the keyboard, it's a shortcut for a line. Your mouse cursor turns into a pencil. Or, I just press escape to get rid of that. Or you can just hold the right click on the mouse, move the mouse to the left, it'll become a pencil, boom! So easy. Or you can just pick line over here. That's not an issue. Oh, shit. Down. Okay, it's not an issue. Uh, that was my fan that was generating all those background noise. Doesn't matter. So, line. What can you do with a line? You can draw a line. Okay? There are three types of line. Line, center line, midpoint line. Center line is just basically the line, but uh, how can I describe it? It's not a line. Okay? That makes sense? I'm just going to cover the line for now. In order to draw a line, you have to define two points for it, a start point, end point. That, that's it. That's all you have to do. You just press anywhere on the screen and let go. Just one simple left click on the mouse. Then you can just move your mouse around and then just click anywhere else. Boom. That would create your first line. And if I don't click anywhere else, you can start drawing a next line. Okay, I can just draw a line here and then go back here. And every time I move my mouse around, there is a number next to my cursor, 43.2 at this stage, okay? This is the length of this newly not yet drawn line. So if I just move it further up, it's gonna be 104.22 millimeters. That's the unit I'm using, by the way. If you pay attention, there are three dashed lines available here. One is here, one is here, and one is here, and remember, and pay attention, whenever I move on my cursor to these one of these uh, yellow lines, this very particular line turns from green to orange. Why? Because I'm applying a relation to that. If I click here on this yellow dashed line, it will be a line 90 degrees to that orange line. Here would be 180 degrees or collinear, and that would be another 90 degrees or 270 degrees for that matter. So. Uh, instead of clicking anywhere here, I'm gonna go go over the start point, starting point, and press OK to close close this sketch loop. Immediately it will be shaded, and that's an option you can activate or deactivate here. But when you have a shaded area, it means it's a closed sketch. You can use it for extrusion and other features you want. But this is another topic for another video. Basically, there is not much more to the line, except there is much more to the line. So, what else can you do with the line? Let's just click here and draw another line. So, just the second click and I'm ready. I move my mouse. Look again. This is, a, this is still a straight line. But, if I move my mouse back to the second point I did, there will be an orange point and a very small yellow rectangle around it. And after this stage, if I move my mouse again further from that point, you see it's not a straight line anymore, but it's a tangential line 
to the first line I drew. So basically, I turned my line into a tangential line without changing the feature. So if I just click here and then go back, it's still a straight line. But do it again, it will become tangential. Do it again, you cannot do it again. It's tangential, whether you like it or not. So if you want to get rid of that, you have to press escape and then press L or do the mouse shortcut and then draw it again. So, so that would be our topic, line. Well, I guess that will wrap it up for the line video. I told you it's going to be seconds. It's going to be a short video, but in the future videos, I'm going to cover every single aspects of the SOLIDWORKS lying. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cover the most important stuff for you. For now, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to release videos on a regular basis. And if you have any questions, just go to the website, uh, link in the description below. You can see it. We upload weekly tutorials for absolute beginners for SOLIDWORKS again, intermediates, upper intermediates, and professionals on a weekly basis. And uh, you can go check it out. There are some free samples. Usually the tutorials are not for free, but you can check the samples for free and then uh, test it also again for 30 days and decide if you want it. If yes, you can just enjoy the tutorials after that. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. See you next week.